In a film like this, when you start with based on a true story, and you're dealing with something so fantastic, um, what was your process in terms of, did you meet the family? Did you talk with the people that were involved with it? I know that Lorraine Warren was a consultant on the film. Can you talk about what that experience was to talk to them about what they went through? I, I feel like I'm a pretty good, I have a pretty good bullshit meter. And, uh, you know, they really truly believe that this is how this went down. So um, I don't really try to put any more judgment in it beyond that. Uh, I figure my job is to tell their story, and so once I know what their story is, that's the, that's what we're doing. For me, it, it makes it really it makes it real, and and it um, it made it scary to to be a part of that, to meet them, and to actually hear them talk about what happened and the stuff that we were actually filming. It, it, you have like this separation from it when you're filming it sometimes, and then we met them halfway through, and then it kind of was like crushing to to realize that that actually they, you know, experienced all that. The day they were there, they had to cut their visit short because she, I, I think, fell off a ladder and broke her hip or something like that. Uh, it was just like one of those weird things <laughs> that everybody was looking around going, okay, did that, did that really happen? Uh. It's very lo-fi. This is not a film that relies on uh, a lot of CGI or a lot of special effects in post-production. Um, so much of it was done in the house and is done simply through mood and through performance. Um, was that something that as an actor, does that help you when it's not all post-production, when it's not all something that's ladled on afterwards? They had, there was one day where it's the moment that there is a vision where it's when Lorraine first comes to the house. Do you remember this guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. The guy in the black yeah. suit? Yeah, they, uh, they <laughs> Lorraine comes in and she sort of looks over our shoulder and sees this apparition. Uh, you know, and they, he, James wasn't sure how he was going to shoot it. He didn't know if he was going to do it in post or what he was going to do. But it was either for us or just for an idea to visualize it. He hired uh, sort of like a lo local Wilmington, North Carolina actor and dressed him in this like full black body stocking with a black hood over his head, you know, and the guy was eating craft service, you know, in this big black body stocking. But sure enough, when it comes time to do the thing, and this big dude in the black body stocking at this moment kind of reaches out and just puts his hand on your shoulder. Uh, it, it is, it's a little hair-raising thing that you don't have to, you don't have to make it up. You know, there really is a dude in a black body stocking <laughs> standing behind you. We, we had the hardest time with yeah, that. Yeah, when he was kind of like, he was like, kind of like dancing around us. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's what it looked like. <laughs> and yeah. so we and all, we were supposed to look really sad. Of, yeah, all of us girls, we were supposed to be so depressed and sad. And, and scared. And, and we were all just trying to not, not to laugh because <laughs> it's a bunch of young girls with this guy like going, doing these weird looking dance moves. And it was hard. That was the yeah. hardest thing for me. <laughs> One of the things that, that I would say James does very, very well as a filmmaker is he sets a mood. And there's a tone of, to this film that's very controlled and it, it's a very slow burn. Um, is there anything that James does to get you guys to that place on the set um, that sort of sets that mood for you? They built that house. That house was, was built uh, you know, on, a, on a stage. Um, we had two of them. We had the one that was exterior, and then we had the one that was for the interiors. It's built on a soundstage, but it's a two-story house, the whole thing. So you knew the geography. When you heard the noise from, you know, upstairs and down the hall, you had to run upstairs and down the hall, and the camera work really took advantage of that. And it's, um, it just makes it, it makes it feel so much uh, more visceral, both to us and I think to the audience, than if you chopped it all up into little set rooms mm -hmm. and then used cuts, you know, to get back and forth in between them. One thing that I, I really like about James and, and all of his movies is he works with the same people and a lot. And so, and he's very visual, so he'll come in and he'll say, this is what I want. And all of them kind of know how to implement that in their own departments. And so it's very, um, it's easy to see in the movies how it's all very congruent and all kind of everyone working together to have this one look. And so I think that's kind of ha one way that he achieves this overall m m mood that you feel in, in all of his movies, because um, everyone's just working together with the same vision that he has. 
Um, to create the, because uh, you guys have a real great sense of family, especially in those early scenes when you're moving in. It's very casual, it's very relaxed, but it feels very um, grounded. Like, you guys feel like a real family. Uh, was there a lot of time to work on that, or was that something that kind of on the fly you guys had to build? That was all acting. We actually all hate each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm actually going to give some credit to you. That's actually in large part due to these two girls right here. Um, I kind of arrived on, so a lot of times if you're an adult, uh, working with kids, part of your job is to like go, okay kids, we're gonna like pretend like we know each other now and we're gonna, it's gonna be fun and we're gonna, you know, you have to sort of like break them in and get, uh, but these two kind of from the word go really took the three little girls just under their wing and, uh, and, and it literally kind of blossomed into a little family unit uh, overnight and I, and, you know, Lily and I remarked on it. We just really got to kind of stand by it and watch and go, oh, this is a family I'd be really, I'd be really proud to have raised this family. You know, this is, um, and, it, and it does involve a lot of extra hours on, on, you know, the part of these two professional actresses who maybe at the end of the night don't necessarily want to, you know, go color or go hang out and, and watch TV. I, with I love to color. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, it went a long way, I think. Um, the, the cast of this film, that's, that's one of the things that immediately grabs you. Is this is, you guys, you don't do a ton of horror films. Lily is not somebody who does horror films typically. Um, what about the material spoke to you on the page? Was it the approach? Was it the, the sort of serious nature of it? What made you say that this was one that you felt really good about being part of? The idea of somebody kind of losing control of themselves um, and being possessed by something, I, it... Uh, you don't have to go any farther than to look look at a couple of seasons of intervention. You know, for me to believe that, oh, this people lose their souls and get possessed by things and do terrible and do terrible, terrible things, both of themselves and other people. And there is a moment where they can be reached by uh, the concerted efforts of the people around them who love them, uh, can reach out to them. And then in that moment, you have to appeal to a higher power, and it's touch and go whether they're going to come back or not. So to me, going into this, I really believed that we could tell that story, um, but scarier. Mm. You know, if there's anything scarier than intervention, which I'm not sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> there was this uh, printout of everything that happened with the parents. It's like five pages long or something, and it's very little lines. Every time, like the date of every occurrence, and I don't know who did it, but... Uh, it was like given out as research and it was horrifying some of the stuff it was just like my my uh, closet door would bang three times in the middle of the night and then I just go back to sleep it's, and that was like every night for it was it, I mean it's unbelievable all the stuff that they experienced I, I could tell the film was working when the guy next to me just kept saying I'd burn the house down I'd burn the house down I'd burn it down and I'd leave yeah. Well, you know, it's the first rule of real estate, though. You just can't get everything you want, you know? We got to watch it with, with you and with some of the, two of the younger girls did. The littlest one didn't, but we watched it. I think we were more scared than them. We were, like, like huddled up next to them, and they were just giggling. Like, but it was, we knew, like, I knew it was going to happen, but the suspense is just so, like, perfectly... Like with the music and everything, when, when uh, the, the, the clap, clap really got me. <laughs> yeah. Good, good pacing, I think, really does a number on you because it doesn't matter that you know what's... <laughs> it, <laughs> I was a little slow on that. I'm sorry. Was, you, you did it, but I, I dropped it a little. <laughs> Got to work on that. Uh, good pacing is really fantastic. Uh, because it doesn't matter that you know what's coming, you know, watching it. I knew what was coming, and it, it almost made it worse because it just takes so damn yeah. long to get there that yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it, it was scary. Uh, it was scary to watch. It was hard for my wife to watch, too. When you make a film like this, you have real religious iconography on the set, and you're dealing with issues of real faith, and, and is that a, an uncomfortable, or, or what does that do on the set, and how, how is it for you guys as performers? I always try to treat everything with a with a healthy amount of respect, um, just because you know what I mean. Just because, just because, uh, it's probably important to somebody. Um, so, you know, so I might as well. 
Um, so I, I really think that this movie, um, in a weird way, it's really about faith, um, you know, depending on what that, what that means to you. But, you know, the log line of this is like some people r run into problems with a, with a demon and they can't get a priest, so they have to ask God directly. <laughs> and he comes through. You know, so it, it, you can't really make this movie without getting into at least some idea of faith. Um, you can also, if you want to, if you want to, if you have to be secular about it, you can say uh, a, a bunch of people, a family band together um, and pull through for each other, you know, in a, in a tight spot. So whatever, either, either one of those ideas to me is profoundly worthy of respect, and it was an honor to be a, a part of a movie that explored it. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.